Sharks are surrounding, but we swim off to safety. And I... Some call him a nerd. To others, he's a genius. Fredo Viola leaves few people indifferent. His music is a mix of multi-layered vocals with a classical touch and ultra-sophisticated electronics. It defies categorization and spills into other art forms. There's a genre that I like to put my music into, the genre of fantasy. I've started doing these um, cluster videos, which is a way to make it more clear so you can actually follow all the different vocal parts. I studied classical music for a while, and my violin teacher, perhaps to get me out of the violin, recommended me to this boys' choir, um, and it, that was not a terribly good experience. In fact, Fredo stayed away from music altogether for a long time. He made his way back only a few years ago, encouraged by musician friends he met over the internet. I was just making music for my own emotional outlet, you know, and sharing it with a few friends, so it's, it's very surreal. Very surreal. I feel like I'm going to wake up and, you know, be very sad that it was just a dream. This is artistic creation for the 21st century. He's one of the pioneers, like Brian Eno, David Byrne or Peter Gabriel were before him. He's a pioneer in creating multimedia work practically in real time with very limited means. I'm not going to comment on Brian Eno because he's a god and I am definitely not a god. Perhaps not, but this 39-year-old nerdy New Yorker is for many nothing short of a revelation. Goodie,